Are you an 80 percenter? Find out next. Do you find yourself giving a ton of effort into a project, getting almost done, and then not finishing? If that happens to you a lot, you, my friend, are an 80 percenter. Sure, there are people who start and, and give up on projects all the time, sometimes even the day after they started. But what's so bad about being an 80 percenter is the amount of resources and energy and sometimes money that you devote but you never reap the benefits of getting it done. If that's you, and it can be me if I'm not careful, I wanna offer you these five strategies to get that thing across the finish line. Strategy number one, count the cost before you begin. Now you probably have no shortage of good ideas, but the resources that it takes to bring that idea into the world, those are limited. So think about what it's really going to take, how much time, how much energy, how much money, and whether or not you really have the passion to be the person to bring that thing into the world. Just because it's a good idea doesn't mean it's good for you to do it. Strategy number two. Strategy number two is to actually start with a strategy. Don't go jumping into this thing all willy nilly. Stop. Break it down into action steps. Give yourself a reasonable time frame as to when each step can be done. And what that will do for you is to keep you from getting hung up on one thing because you see everything else that needs to be finished. Strategy number three, only allow yourself to work on one project at a time. It's easy to be like, ooh, new project, ooh, new idea, squirrel, let me go. Uh-uh, don't do that because if you're juggling a whole bunch of balls in the air, sooner or later, something's gonna drop. Finish that project, then you can move on to the next. And if you're really ready to jump on that other thing, that'll just motivate you to finish faster, right? Strategy number four, be accountable. When I was writing my book, Five Rules to Win Being You, it was the third book that I had started. The other two, never finished them. So I did something really bold. I pre-sold the book for a conference I was gonna be speaking at in a month. Now, that was pretty scary, but it worked. So find a way to make yourself accountable to the deadline so that you finish the project and somebody other than you cares about it. Strategy number five, remember, done is better than perfect. You're always going to Monday morning quarterback a project and say, oh, I should have done this. Why didn't I think about that? Let me go back and tweak. Let me finish this. I'm not going to send this out yet because I want to, yeah, there's always going to be something that you could fix. Make sure that you keep track of those things, apply it to the next project, but if you keep tweaking, you're never going to get it done. Give yourself the gift of completion. Get it out the door. Now, Here's the thing. If what you're doing is really important to the world, then you owe the world that thing that you're bringing because they need it and you owe it to yourself too. Get it done. Stay focused. That's all we have for this week. And so until next time, stay focused on purpose.